option this time it's of module 1 to 4 sam capstone project a so let's start this project by enabling the editing we have to enable the editing form here so start this this is the name of the project is vitality bank vitality bank okay what we have to do we have to formatting formulas and chart these are the three things that we need to do in this project okay it is saying that you have to save this file with this name i already did that and added the file name i already did that if you do not see the excel file extension do not type that file extension will be added, added for you automatically okay it will be added automatically we have to ignore this just come here like uh, You can read this. It is saying that with the file, we have to open this file. I have downloaded this file for one of my students. Okay. It is saying that uh, ensure that your first and last name is displayed in cell B6 of the documentation worksheet. Okay. This is the documentation worksheet and this is cell B6. So, first and last name is displayed, so our file is okay. So, we have to start it from here. It is saying that first step is that Ariana Wheeler is an operations specialist at Fatality Bank in Dallas, Texas. Ariana has created an Excel workbook to summarize budget information for each department in the bank. She asks you to add formatting, formulas, and chart. Okay. Start by changing the theme of the workbook to office. First step we need to do in this project is to change the theme of the document to office. How to change the theme, I will show you. Let's come to the Excel file. Display the page layout dialog box. And click the down arrow underneath that and then click the office. This is the theme that we need to apply to our document. This is the theme. Okay, just click on the office and it will be applied automatically. So, second step is that it is saying that on the department overview worksheet. First of all, open this worksheet department overview. This is the worksheet that we need to open. It is saying that you have to format the worksheet subtitle as follows. So, a step is that 2A is that merge and center the range B3 to L3. Okay, where's B3? This is B3 and we have to merge and center from B3 to L3. This is L3. How to merge and center? Come to the home tab and then click the down arrow and click that merge and center. Okay. And the next step is you have to change the font size to 14. Range is already selected P3 to L3 and we have to change the font size from here to 14. There we go. This is how to change the font size. And the next is 2C step is saying change the height of the row 3 to 30. Okay. How to change the row, row height? Click on the row. In this way the row will be selected. Right click and then come here and you can see the row height here. This is the one method to do this step. Second is click on the row, come to the home tab and click here, click the down arrow and then click the row height. This is the most formal way to do this step but the shortcut is the one that I told you in the first, uh, in the first method. Right here 30. Okay. So if you right click it and check the row height it is Row 30. So you can change the row height from here also by right clicking the row. In this way we have completed the second step of our project. Now we are moving on to the step number three. It is seen that you have to change the width of the column N. So we have to change the width of the column N so it contents automatically fit within the column. Open the worksheet. 
then drag from here to the column end and then we have to auto fit it from here home tab form it and then auto fit the column width ok it is auto fit and all the content within the column end is displayed and the shortcut to do is that when you click on this column and cursor changes from a down arrow to a double arrow then you can just double click and it will be auto fit will be applied automatically this is the second method to do this step so we are done with step number three of our project step number four what is it is saying it is saying that in cell o3 we have to enter a formula enter a function so there is difference between the function and a formula function we have to create the function but the oh sorry we have to create the formula but the function is already created and it, we have to just select the ranges so it gave us the desired result but it gives so we have to enter the to tape function in cell o3 where is o3 this is o3 put the equal sign and put the two days function from me there we go and then just close the bracket and press the enter button there we go this is how to this is how to enter the two days function so with this our step number four is also completed now we are moving on to the step number five of the assignment and the step number five is that you have to you have to format the range p6 to g6 there we go this is t6 this is p6 to g6 we have to format this we have to select this range how to format it is described in the two steps it is saying that you have to apply the 40 percent async 6 cell style first of all we have to select this range and then change the style from here 40 percent async 1 was async 1 sorry async 6 40 percent async 6 range is selected 40 percent Ascent 6, this is the one, just click on that and the cell style will be applied automatically. Next it is saying that you have to bold the formatting, click the bold. So step number 5 is also completed, now we are moving on to the step number 6 of our document. It is saying that Ariana wants you to add the missing data to the employees table. Okay, so it is clear from the first line that we have to add some sort of data to the table that is it, it that is already given. So we have to enter the values shown in the table from in the corresponding cells in the range D6 to S6. So this is the range that we have to fulfill d6 to f6 where is d6 there we go this is d6 and this is f6 so these three cells need to be filled using the data here in the d6 we have to write bankers press tab and then in the E6 you have to type managers managers then press tab again and in cell F6 you have to type support sorry so this is the one press enter so this range from D6 to F6 is filled using the data in the table one okay now with this with this step number six is completed now we will move on to the step number seven 
what it is saying it is saying that in cell i17 you have to enter a formula using the unique function okay to list the unique values in the department column of the tell us employees table range this okay what we have to do in cell i17 first of all look for the cell i17 if you cannot find a cell just type here i17 and then press enter it will directly take you to the cell that you you want to find so this is cell i17 what we have to do we have to enter a unique function unique is a name of function we it's not that unique that you are thinking it's the name of the function okay be careful about that what we have to do press that cell hit that cell and then come to the formulas then and the financials let's come to the financial then right here unique okay this is the function that just double click that when you double click that the function dialog box will be uh, will be shown and we have to fill that okay so let's fill that so after uh, finding the unique dialog box you can fill this column okay this is the one method to enter that function and the second one is that like just uh, put the equal sign here or uh, unique hit enter sorry it don't not hit enter and what we have to write here is this range this is the range if you write it just write that uh, range and you need to close this function do not put anything else if you do that then give us the values like just press enter from here okay so it give the unique values in this range like it give us that how many total number of departments are there unique departments are there like you can see from here if you if you go from c17 to c66 you cannot find that how many departments are there the but this function exactly tells us that how many departments are there so back office commercial global investment private and retail 1 2 3 4 5 6 so, so, so total of six departments are there in this the loss employees table best practice is to save the assignment after each step save from here okay with this with this our step number 7 is also completed what we have to do next we have to do next is that we have to move on to the step number 8 of our project what it is saying it is saying that you have to copy the content of the range i17 to i22 copy the content of the range select the range from here write it here and just press enter so the range is selected we have to copy that just press control c or right click and and hit the copy button it will be copied and paste only the values in the range c7 to c12 where is c7 we have to look for c7 there we go c5 this is c7 and c12 what do we have to do we have to just write the values we have to paste only the values how to paste the values just click that down arrow and come here this if you hit that button values only the values will be pasted so you have to click that when you click that these departments are filled here what we have to do we have to save our documents so you can save from here you can press control s you can hit that file and this way these are the three methods to save a document so 
what next on uh, so our step number 8 is also completed so we are now moving on to the step number 9 of this assignment what it is saying it is saying that ariana also want you to complete the calculation and format the summary table enter the turnover percentage information as follows it is saying that in cell j7 you have to enter a formula without using a function that divide the turnover amount which so it is it is clearly mentioned that you cannot you cannot write a function you have to write the formula enter a formula that divide the turnover amount i17 by the total employees by g7 so come to cell j7 j7 or g7 is j7 so this is j7 press the equal sign and divide the value in cell i7 this is i7 put the slash and then what we have to put we have to put the g7 total employees where is g7 there we go this is g7 and then hit the enter button if you hit that this give us the result this formula gave us the result what to do next it is saying that uh, fill the range j8 to j12 with the function in cell g7 so we have to fill that range how to do that just come here and then you see when the this sign changes from this to this you have to just drag it down to g7 to j12 with j12 yes yes we have to drag from j8 to j12 so step number 9 is also completed I have shown you 9 steps of this assignment if you want me to do this project for you if you want me to do this complete course for you just hit me on whatsapp or email I can do the other courses like accounting, finance, mathematics or writing stuff just hit me on whatsapp or email I would recommend that you connect to me on whatsapp so that we can communicate very easily thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe to my channel so that you stay tuned for the next videos thank you so much and goodbye